forming a dynamic entry and taking down a building is one of the most dangerous things you could do in urban warfare. Why? Well, you have to handle the door. First, you gotta get your team up close and personal so the breacher can handle the door. He's gonna have to place explosives onto the door, both of which could give away their position. And if you're talking about a reinforced door, well, you need more explosives. And if you need more explosives, you don't wanna be near it when it goes off. What if you could handle this breaching threat from a safe distance? Simon says, open door. The Simon is an advanced lightweight door breaching device. It attaches onto a conventional assault rifle like the M16. It can be fired up to 30 yards from the target. It can be fired with any bullet. You don't need to change magazine. You don't have uh, to use any blanks here. You just aim it and fire it. Dr. Zeb Rittman is head of breaching and urban warfare at Raphael. Take me through the explosive chain here. What you see here is the bullet trap mechanism in red. You see the mechanical impact fuse here. And this is the continuation of the de detonation chain. And here is the main explosive. So once you fire it, the fuse is armed, ready to fire. Once it hits the, the target here in the end of this uh, stand of probe, the firing pin here will initiate the detonator inside the fuse, and that in turn will initiate the booster here, the detonating code, and the main explosive. And then the door? And the is... door will blast out of the hinges. When the weapon is fired, the bullet is captured in the bullet trap, forcing the Simon and all of its energy toward the door. The fail-safe mechanism ensures that the Simon is only armed after it has traveled 15 yards downrange from the barrel of the rifle. But it's what happens when the standoff rod strikes the door that makes the Simon so successful. What we have here is a very special shape of the shape charge of the explosive. Dr. Tammy Yurom is in charge of research and development at Raphael. The explosive is shape charred so that it provides a cone of blast. So this cone goes up to about one meter in diameter so that all this blast and pressure pushes the door in order to collapse the door. The warhead contains only five and a half ounces of explosive, but because of its shape, it utilizes the energy from the blast very effectively directing all of the force from the shockwave exactly where it's required. It doesn't depend much on the door type. It just has a lot of pressure on the door. So when, whatever the door is, it just collapses inside with a very, very little damage to the people inside and outside. In hostage rescue, this means blasting the door doesn't have to kill or injure innocent civilians on the other side. After I fire the Simon off, it's no difference for it's my M4. I can still fire. You, you, you are using the same uh, magazine, you are using the same bullet, and you just continue to fire. I think it's great. I mean, the fact of the matter is all I have to do to get this thing to fire is just place it right on the top, yeah. aim it. It's going to hit that door, knock it off, and once it's gone, just continue back to, to my fire. weapon, no problem. Yeah. All right, let's go blow something up. OK, let's do that. Because a standard wooden door wouldn't be any competition for the Simon, what we've got here is a steel Israeli door. It's a multi-lock. You got one up here, one over here, one here, and one down here. Let's see how the Simon performs. For this test, I'll fire the Simon 25 yards from the door. Using this Simon is really as easy as having a loaded M4 that's ready to go. Just slide it right on the top, just like that. Aim it at what you want to take out. And boom, instantaneous key to any door. <laughs> Just like that, no problem. You can enter the building now. You've done the breaching from a safe distance. And I'll tell you what, if I need to keep firing with my weapon, no problem. Nothing is in the way. <laughs>